What we have here is a Whirlpool washer that does not spin. So it fills, it agitates, and it drains, but the clothes never get spun out. With this kind of Whirlpool or Maytag washer, a very common reason why that happens is a faulty shift actuator that looks like this. I double checked this to make sure by taking off the little striker from the lid and putting it into the door switch so I can see the washer while it's running with the lid open. And sure enough, it was doing everything except that final spin cycle. I've replaced a lot of these shift actuators on washers like this. Oftentimes, if your washer is not spinning, it's because this part has went defective. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to find it and how to replace it. Of course, before we take anything apart, make sure to turn the power off. The first thing we're gonna do is pull the washer out and tip it back. And while you're tipping it, I would go ahead and look behind it, make sure none of the hoses are getting kinked the drain line is not getting pinched somewhere. And if it's not, just lean it back all the way so that the washer is standing by itself. Or you can prop it on the bottom with a paint bucket or something. To get to our shift actuator, we're gonna have to take this cover off on the bottom, this white cover, which is held in here just by two 5 16 screws. One is in the front. And the other one is in the back in the same location. It's gonna be hard to film it, but I'll show you in a sec. So here's the part that we're gonna be replacing, and this part is the one responsible for switching the washer from agitating to spinning. And it's not switching over, and usually whenever that happens, this is the culprit. So we're gonna be replacing it, and taking it out is super easy. It's just held in here by two screws. Disconnect the wire harness. You simply unplug it, take the new one, plug it in, and that's it. Fasten it back down with those two same screws, and your job is complete. Then we can try running the washer and see if that fixed our problem. Make sure that this little arm goes into the hole right over here, because this is the piece that switches it from agitation to spin. So you gotta make sure that this piece goes into it, just like that. And once you have everything lined up, go ahead and screw it back in, put the cover back on, and we're done. And we're all done. There's just one very important thing left to do before we finish up. First of all, Set this back to the normal setting before you plug it back in. And after we plug the washer back in, we're gonna give it about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna run the recalibration mode. Whenever you replace any parts on washers like this, Whirlpool, Maytag, Roper, or the rest, you do want to run the recalibration every single time. In order to get to the recalibration setting, we're gonna have to twist this knob counterclockwise, one full rotation back to normal, and then three clicks to the right, one to the left and one to the right. You have to do all of that within three seconds. Sometimes this takes more than one try. And as you can see, I failed my first try. So let's try again. Gonna set it back to normal and go through this process one more time. There you go. This time I succeeded, and you can tell because all the lights started flashing. Go ahead and turn the knob counterclockwise. When it's in the rinse setting, and we press start, that starts the recalibration process, which takes about three minutes. So once we got the light here, you just press start, give it three to five minutes, and that will recalibrate the washer. And since I still have the lid switch bypassed, which by the way is not the safest thing to do, we can watch exactly what happens as it goes through its recalibration process. Yeah. 
And it looks like it's all done. Whenever it completes the recalibration cycle, all the lights will come off. And before I go ahead and put the striker back on the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and test and make sure that we actually fix the problem. I'm gonna select the drain and spin cycle and press start. Because I still have the lid switch bypassed, even though it says lid locked, we can still lift it up and see what's going on. So there it went, it's starting to drain and it's also supposed to start spinning. Okay, I gotta admit that had me worried for a little bit. Usually the spin starts a little bit sooner, but as you can see, it did start to spin. Awesome, problem fixed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this drain and spin cycle. And put the striker back where it belongs. Keep in mind that this is a safety switch though. So if you try bypassing it like I did, do so at your own risk. Well guys, and that is how you replace a shift actuator on a Whirlpool washer, which will solve most no spin problems. I worked on a lot of these kinds of washers and oftentimes that part is the issue. So it's a good place to start. And by the way, if you're not sure how and where to order parts for your appliance, for your washer or dryer or whatever, I do have a video where I go over that step by step. If you need help, check that video out. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other tips that I did not mention in this video, please let us know in the comment section below. Did you know that out of all the people in the world, four out of three people struggle with math? I hope that all of you watching are not part of the struggling category, so let me amaze you with a really cool math trick. If you can pull up a calculator on your phone, this will help you verify right away if what I'm saying is actually true. So to begin with, step one, think of a number, any number, doesn't matter how many digits. For my example, I'm gonna pick number seven, but you can choose any number you want. Step two, multiply that number by three. Step three, add six. Step four, divide by three. And step five, subtract the number that you chose in step one from your answer in step four. And the answer will always be two. Isn't that awesome? I thought it was pretty amazing. If you know any other math tricks, please let us know in the comment section below.